Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can add and update your SharePoint list data to Excel sheet using Power Automate. This is my uh, Excel table which I've created into my SharePoint online document library with the name of import where we have uh, Excel sheet as in Excel data and I have uh, formatted this as in table before doing that which is mandatory one and uh, then we have our SharePoint list with the name of source where we have a couple of uh, rows added already. So what I want uh, when I add a new item to my SharePoint list or update any of the existing item, it will either create a new entry or update the existing entry to my Excel sheet. In case I update my first item, so let's suppose I change username from employee to employee one and save this one then a flow will run in background and it will check if this item already exists into my excel sheet or not if not then it will create a new item and if it is already exist then it will update that one likewise i'm going to update one more item which is employee two i'll say employee double two and i think one more which is employee three and i'll exit from my grid view as you can see there is one item has been created into my excel sheet because this item was not previously here important thing to notice that how it is doing based on this id column as you can see there is two more column added i have updated three uh, item and it has created three new entries here so let's just talk about how we can do this as well first of all i'll clean this up i'll say delete table rows now my excel is blank i will create automated cloud flow and uh, the trigger point will be when an item is created or modified into sharepoint and the flow name will be add an update excel table all right i have to select my site address so my site name is dev site which is this one and the list name is source list right this one I've already selected this one so when there is item created or modified into this particular list my flow will trigger next point I'll say Excel online for business and a list row present in table so I'm getting all these uh, rows presented into this particular table so how we're gonna find this one is uh, this is also under my dev site and document library as I told you it is a import document library all right and uh, file name is with the excel data dot xls and table name is table one which i have created creating table is mandatory so before doing that create or format your column as in table next step will be our uh, filter array and uh, from value will be from our list row present table value what we're going to do here is we're going to select the unique identifier into my excel table and then uh, compare this with the unique identifier of my sharepoint list item id which is uh, the default id of uh, every sharepoint list item so what this filter will do it will filter one value from this excel table where this excel id is equal to my sharepoint list item id that said so in this case this id will not work for you because this id column is a number and this formula particularly accept and a string so in that case what we have to do when you hover this id you can see trigger outputs closed bracket question mark body slash id right so we have to convert that into my string and uh, 
I can pass that value. I've already copied that. The second one, all right. I'll put this into my description as well. Click OK. So it will filter only one value at a time. And if it doesn't produce any of the value, then we'll put our next conditions here. So what we're going to do is control condition. When you click on this choose, you will have a filter array item or filter array body. So we have to pick filter array body. When you click on this one, you will see body filter array, right? I have written this into my text already, body filter array. So what we have to do is empty, paste that body filter array, click OK, is either true or false, you can put any value. So I'll say true. That means if this filter array returns a value and then it will check whether it is empty or not. So if it is empty, that means we have to create a new item. That means the item already doesn't exist into my Excel. So I have to create a new item. And if it is not true, then I have to update. And yes, I'll choose X and online business and uh, add a row into table. Location will be my dev site because it is my under my SharePoint site. Document library we know that it is import. File name we know as well. Excel data.xls and the table name we know as table one. So it will automatically create the list of column that I have here, as you can see, and uh, I have to map them one by one. So I have to map them with SharePoint item. So ID will be SharePoint item ID, username will be SharePoint username, status will be SharePoint status, experience will be SharePoint experience and then joining date will be my SharePoint joining date. All right, this is it. And if no, then I have to update item. So Excel online for business, update row, perform the same step. Location will be again our dev site document library will be import file will be excel data dot xls table will be table one and now there is uh, two more columns when we are doing the updates the key column and the key value column so it is smart enough what is asking where you are updating please identify a unique column so in our case, it is ID one. So we're going to choose a key column will be our Excel ID. And the value I want to put into that particular one is my SharePoint item ID. And then you can update your rest of the column as it is. Save your flow and uh, we are good to go. I'll go into my shipment list and into my Excel sheet. Excel sheet is blank as of now. So if I make any changes to any of the item as of now, it should create an item. So I'm making changes to my first item, which is uh, this one and I'm saying this employee double one and let's save this our flow started running so we'll wait here you can see there is a new item has been created here so i'm going to update rest of my items so that it can create them first 
right then this one and then say this employ 4 then I'll employ 5 and uh, now I'm gonna exit grid view now you can see all the five item has been uh, created here so the next step what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update some of these item and uh, then we'll see whether our uh, Excel get updated or not so what I'll do is I'll update some of these item so this double one I'm gonna make this as in one experience will be 20 now and uh, make this open change the date as well so I'm gonna make this save update one more item so I'm updating 16 and 18 employed double three experience 20 save this one as well so I have updated two item and I'm adding one more item which is like uh, title is nothing username is employee 6 department SharePoint state is open experience 30 joining date anything and then save and I've added new item with ID 1924 we'll go to our flow and we'll see that uh, there has been 43 second ago 43 second ago so that means update has been started one and double three has been updated 16 and 18 one status has been changed the data has been changed experience has been changed and now we can see there is one more item has been added with the 1924 so these five were already presented and this new has been added as well 1924 is there so this is the way you can actually update your SharePoint list item to excel table using power automate i hope you like this video if you do don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching have a good day